When we started the NRI, we had our goal to try to advance understanding on five childhood neurological diseases that the genes were discovered here at Baylor and Texas Children's, and we wanted to advance to bring therapeutics for some of these diseases. Within a span of very few years, that expanded to a lot more disorders, including adult neurodegenerative diseases. I would say about a third of our faculty work on adult neurodegenerative diseases, ranging from Alzheimer, Parkinson's, ALS, Huntington's disease, and balance disorders. So how did that happen? It turns out when you start working on childhood neurodegenerative diseases, you quickly realize that some of the same genes that make the child brain vulnerable to neurodegeneration, if lost in two copies, they will cause a childhood disease but if lost in one copy, they will cause vulnerability in an older person. Because when you lose only one copy, or if the mutation is much milder than what you see in children, it's gonna take years to see the clinical features. So we learned that very quickly. And having learned that, the team decided this is a great opportunity. We can now begin to understand these adult neurodegenerative diseases by studying all the genes that cause vulnerability for the brain.